So I think a lot of it is to do with uh, distilling your message to market, your value proposition, everything down into some very, very simple sticky words and phrases. And when you think about some of the taglines of the greatest brands in the world, they immediately conjure up a feeling, um, a spirit, if you like. So you think about Nike and just do it. Uh, you think about um, De Beers and Diamonds Are Forever. Yeah. L'Oreal, you're worth it. They're obviously all linked to different buyer personas and also different markets and so there's there's a, a lot of um, a lot of sort of similarities in terms of the approach, but obviously the, the the implementation and the way that they put that message out is going to be different. So essentially, brand is really just uh, the foundational bedrock, really, of anything that is expressed or done through the marketing communication strategy. And in that way, it's great, really, because the principles are the same whether it's a huge global brand or a tiny little local business. I always find brand and messaging quite interesting, right? Because there are people out there like yourself who seem to make it seem very, very easy to do. And I've, I've spoken with people who can, can do it on the fly, right? Like I've, I've got a good friend of mine who, who was the face of Hasbro games for many years. And he often gets businesses and stops to pitch to him for 10, 15 minutes even. And at the end of it, he will boil down what they've said into one sentence. And he just makes it so easy. And yet I've, I've yeah. you know, sat there and tried to do this for my own business. And it's super, super hard because you want to convey everything all at once. So your, your message about simplicity really hits home for me. And I guess the, the, the other solution is like, obviously, if you're struggling to come up with that yourself and seek external support, right? Yeah, it, it's, it, it is, I think, a combination of, um, let's just say, a, a bit of talent um, and also obviously experience as with everything the more you know it's that kind of hundred hour rule in the in the first instance if you want to achieve competence at anything if you do a, it for a hundred hours then you're going to be a lot better than most people yeah. if you do it for 10,000 hours then you really are a master as we all know 